Hey everyone, it's Tom here from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video and welcome to a new week. What I'm going to talk about this week is using some of the tools in the AC collections, uh, namely Format for today, uh, to build things like uh, blocks or, or plant equipment or it might be something else that you're using within plant or possibly even uh, Revit. So I've already uh, built this pump um, in Formit, so it wasn't too bad of an exercise to do. Uh, Formit could probably have some better tools in regards to this, but then ultimately at the end of the day, you have to think that Formit probably really isn't um, sort of built more for the mechanical minded people uh, that are watching. I would say you're probably using Fusion for that, uh, and that's something that I'll go through uh, later in the week as well having a look at fusion um, and I'm also going to have a look at SketchUp as well just for modeling these kind of uh, models uh, inside each of their respective programs and then bringing them into things like plant or, or Revit itself um, so you will see in a second I'll play the um, the video of me building this uh, again it wasn't too too bad I, I guess you just sort of have to get an understanding of how fusion works this is basic I haven't done any uh, materials or scenes or, or anything like that within within format so I'm just going to leave it uh, as is obviously if you want to to go through um, uh, all the materials and, and make it look a little bit more pretty then um, you know you can do that so I guess I will just pause here uh, and let the video play of me building this and I will see you in a few seconds. Now that you can see that we've gotten to uh, our final model uh, through through that video, uh, I'm going to have a look at how to get this out of format uh, and then into something like Plant and Revit. So I'm just going to save Sketch locally on my desktop, and I'm going to call it uh, let's call it Plant Pump. Okay, and then I'm also going to export locally a SAT file okay so this is going to help with with plant 3d so because we've already got it in the format format uh, I'm just going to shut this down and then I'm going to jump into Revit so I've got a Revit project here, it's based on the mechanical template. Again, it can be anyone that you want, but you need to click on the add-ins tab and then over here under the format converter, there's a button and a fly out here for import format to Revit. So I'm going to select that pump and then Revit is going to do its thing. So this just means uh, that we're going to bring it straight in. I guess um, looks like we got a couple issues there, but it looks like it has brought it in. So if I switch to the 3D view, go zoom to fit, might need to turn on some some views in here and make sure that we can see it. So if I switch to elevations, just need to see where Revit has placed it. Okay. So I just needed to turn uh, some of the visibility on there. So here's here's that pump. 
and again you can see how it looks it doesn't look too bad but again I guess from a Revit user's standpoint you'll have to just work out um, you know if it'll satisfy your needs so that's in Revit in Plant 3D it's going to be a little bit different we need to import it first look for ASUS SAT okay and then there it is so once it's in there you can probably clean it up and, and delete any of the other uh, bits and pieces in there too so we can do that by select slimmer and then all and then we get rid of the 2d parts and then we're left with this 3d sat so if we wanted to convert the equipment I'll need to make it a block first and I'll call it uh, I'll just call it pump dash 01 pick a base point select the objects and then go OK so now that's a block then up here in the plant tools in the, under the equipment tab we convert equipment I select the block make it a pump for the class and go OK the insertion point is the midpoint there and then we can give it some properties now this is not going to behave like a normal uh, plant 3d pump you will need to modify the nozzle connections here so when you convert a piece of AutoCAD uh, block into a piece of equipment you need to add the nozzles manually because it doesn't have the smarts to uh, dynamically add them through the normal plant channel so we just click on add nozzle and then I say select the center of this circle here well, let's make it we might have to do midpoint of two points Okay, and then from there we need to adjust what kind of nozzle it is. So now that it's in there, we do the same for the other one. Mid of two points. Call it. 150 flanged close okay so then there you have your nozzles will be placed on it so again you can use format to build these things but ultimately at the end of the day it's going to be a little bit messy um, you can see this tessellation here so even if we do a ortho If we save it and then do a new view of my pump and let's do a top view go OK oh, it's a bit small so I might just need to edit that view one let's go two to one okay and I'll turn line weight off so you can see how it's got all of those lines on it so again where it comes from will depend on how plant is going to model it. obviously the plant pumps are going to be a little bit neater the way they're modeled but when you do import equipment you're going to have to take into account that you're going to end up with this look with all of these ISO lines or these tessellated lines uh, all over it so again just keep that in mind so that's all for today hopefully it's been informative for you so you can start using format to build up equipment I guess if you really wanted to um, but for the rest of the week I'm going to look at Fusion to do the same thing I'm going to look at SketchUp to do the same thing and see what the options are and then uh, it'll give you a bit of insight into how some of these programs work coming into things like Plant or Revit or even Advanced Steel so 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, and I will see you for tomorrow's video on Fusion. See you later.